welcome to PM Creations. Thank you for joining me today. I am super excited for what I'm about to do today. I'm actually unboxing and um, testing out uh, and reviewing for you guys this item. Uh, it is a glass dip ink pen. Uh, and I've seen this, just a bit of a background. So what this item is, is um, I've been seeing it on um, my Instagram feeds and like online, you know, those commercials that pop up for you. Uh, I've been seeing this ink pen. Uh, it's like a glass uh, glass pen uh, and it comes with like different inks. And um, you dip the ink and you can use it for like calligraphy and stuff like that. And when I saw it, it's so pretty the way it looked. I was so excited. Uh, to one day try it as well and I kept seeing it so I was like you know what I gotta get this I have to try it um, try it and see how it's like uh, so what I did was last month I purchased it and it actually came yesterday uh, the end of May uh, on May 31st so uh, I am so excited to try this out and see what it's like and uh, myself I'm not really uh, in, I mean, I like calligraphy, different styles of writing and whatnot, but I don't really, like, my focus is very much on, like, painting and drawing and stuff like that, but what I will be think, what I'm thinking of doing is actually, I have an idea of how I want to test this. Um, I'm going to try it on different um, types of paper uh, and in different methods, like draw, writing versus doing a drawing kind of thing because I would like to be able to if it's a good product I would love to be able to use it in my artworks as well right so I'm so excited um, and uh, also full disclosure um, I have not I don't know if there are any reviews or unboxings out there on YouTube at this time for this item I personally haven't looked searched for any of them so this is going to be like 100% my first impression and what to expect and everything like that so I'm quite uh, I'm a bit nervous. I don't know what to expect, but I'm also very excited because if it if it's anything like the way it looks on the commercials and the ad advertisements, uh, I think I'm going to be really happy with it. So I'm really excited. So wish me luck. Um, here I go. And ooh, ooh. here we have it. The box. It's the glass dip. Pen. I love the box. It's beautiful, and it has the uh, information uh, at the bottom. So it's not like taped or anything like that. It's just a nice box with a very beautiful, um, like a galaxy starry look. I am going to open it for the first time. Here I go. I'm so excited. Ooh, okay. So this is what we're seeing. Okay. So all of them say ink on it. In the color that's inside it. And this one kind of looks like there's a bit of an accident on this one because I can see like black on it. It's supposed to be blue. Oh, that is what it is. So this looks like there was a bit of an accident with this one. And it is a black. It kind of looks like it kind of leaked over. So that's a little unfortunate, but I'm just going to quickly clean that up. Okay, so it looks like what had happened on this is a, not a little accident, it is a big accident. It actually has cracked. And I don't know how long it has been, it was cracked for, but 
a lot of it has gone. leaked out. Well, that's not good. That's disappointing. All the black has leaked out. That's very disappointing, unfortunately. I'm not very happy about that, and I can't really use this one. Not very pro happy about that, um, but we're going to keep continuing. But give me one second, I'm just going to put this away. are hands are not fully clean so it does stain uh, stain so uh, I washed it um, a few times with soap um, but the stain is still there but I, I think I'm gonna like eventually if the more I wash it will go away so I don't think it's permanent or anything like that but it definitely didn't go with the first wash another thing I did notice is these this thing, it doesn't come with any instructions or anything like that. I haven't found it yet, if there is. And I'm actually just going to go and check the, the actual pen itself now. I hope it's intact and nothing happened to it. Ooh, okay. That is beautiful. And yes, thank God it's, it's intact. No issues with it, no scratches or anything like that. Look at this. I really like that. This is one of the reasons why I really wanted it because the pens looked gorgeous. And look at that. This is beautiful. Just trying to see if there's any instructions. No. No instructions, which is unfortunate and hopefully it's not like toxic, so toxic and horrible because I already got them in my hand and one would think that working with ink, it's a, it could be a messy thing so I'm assuming it's not that toxic. Uh, yeah, so as far as I see... On Amazon, at least, it's as safe to use. So, you know, we take it uh, at face value based on what they say, right? Okay, so unfortunately, no black for me, uh, which I don't really uh, appreciate. But I have a bunch of other colors, and I have 11 colors to work with. I'm so excited for this. Um, I mean, just to quickly go over this the 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 weight it's not that heavy but you can still feel you know a certain level of weight on the pen and i really like the feel of it right now uh, and the way i have it uh, set out is where well, i'm actually going to try a few um try this ink and the pen on a few type different types of papers uh, i have a, a notebook with me i'm going to try on just like regular notebook paper I'm also going to uh, try on white printer paper, like the regular eight and eight and a half by eleven printer paper that we get. I'm going to try on that and see what it's like and um, how it transfers over and stuff like that. I'm also going to try on cardstock. I'm also going to try um, just my sketchbook paper, just to test it on the sketchbook, just to see what that's kind of like. And um, last but not least, I'm going to try on my uh, watercolor paper, my uh, Stratmore watercolor paper. Okay, so that way I have a good idea of what to expect on with each medium uh, and how the ink transfers over to the paper and, and stuff like that. So I have a, a general sense of it. But first, First things first, before I try it on different papers, I'm just going to quickly, uh, this is just a, a regular watercolor paper, I'm just going to test out the inks themselves just to see how it, how it works, because I'm still kind of uh, excited and nervous for it. Um, I'm going to take the purple, yeah, so these bottles, you have the pink, 
I mean, this is purple, sorry. You have the purple, but you also have like this gold in it. So I think the idea is that if you wanted, they, they naturally have a sheen, is my understanding. Okay, and it has, it comes with its, the rubber stopper, which prevents the ink from spilling. Unfortunately, in this black case, the black one's case, it actually cracked. So, that, that was unfortunate. And... Okay, so it kind of comes off easily enough. I'm excited to try this. I'm gonna bring this closer so you have a very good view, close-up view of the bottle and the ink. Okay, so I don't know what to expect on this thing, but... Okay, so see what happened? It took the ink in. Really cool. You can kind of tap it, and most of it kind of went back in. Uh, let's try taking it again. Let's see what to, oh, I don't know what to expect, so we will see. Wow. Okay. It feels a little scratchy. But I, I can work with that, it's workable. Um, the ink is pretty much gone. I'm going to try another color. And I heard, I mean, from what I saw, you can just uh, put, put the ink in the water to kind of get rid of it from this. And, and yeah, it does exactly that. It really, the cleanup is easy. It just kind of, uh, and it doesn't take the water in. Once you shake it, it uh, eliminates that ink. So that's easy. Cleanup is a breeze. I'm going to try another color. I'm not too, I know with ink pens, they're very particular, you kind of have to do it in a certain way, oh, I think this is the side. The tip is in a big, bit of an angle, and you're supposed to, the way so far it's been working best is when I ha use the angle uh, side, like the lower side of the angle. And I'm not seeing any gold. So it works. I mean, a little scratchy, but it's good. It works on le as letters and it works as I can kind of draw with it as well. I'm going to do the notebook first. 
So this is just notebook paper, like notebooks you get from the dollar store, what have you. It's not that thick, it's just regular writing paper. So what do I think of this ink on this paper? Um, Oh, I'm getting some gold on my fingers. Again, really hoping it's not toxic. Okay, um, so on the notebook paper, the color, the brightness of the color kind of disappears. And you can actually kind of see the gold shine on some of these, on the leaf. I don't know if you can see actually, but you can kind of see the gold shine. Um, it did this so it's not the best on this paper because it uh, expands uh, on this paper and let's see the moment of truth the other side so <laughs> it totally uh, seeps through I, I expected that actually and it kind of goes to the next page a little bit as well But it's not that bad but yeah it's it's not the best on this paper on like regular notebook paper uh, yeah miracles happen when you believe you know it okay so that's that let's try the next one the next paper I wanted to try out is just regular um, eight and a half by eleven uh, printer paper actually. What do I think about it on this paper? Um, l less, it's a bit better in terms of containing the paint, but still again it kind of seeps out away from uh, its line. Uh, on the yellow, you can actually see the gold much better. Uh, seep test, yes, definitely seeps. And uh, it seeps onto the other page as well. Right there. Okay, so definitely seeps through. Um, so that's that. Let's try another one. Now I'm just going to quickly try cardstock. This one uh, is the best so far. The color doesn't bleed, it stays within the line. Um, I mean, very, very minor bleeding, but not like the other papers. And uh, when, I, when I say bleed, I mean, sorry, the color doesn't um, expand away from the line, it stays within the line. Very minimal expansion. Um, and it has not bled. You can still kind of see like the outline of like water, uh, but there's no bleeding. Even like here, where I actually fully colored it in, no bleeding. You just kind of only see the outline of the water. So I, I think cardstock is really good with this uh, pink and pen set and no scratching or anything like that. So that's good. Good for that. So that's cardstock. And the next one I want to try out is my sketchbook. So this is my little sketchbook that I normally do uh, like thumbnail sketches on. So that, I, I like it. So what is the verdict on a sketchbook? Well, Let's see. Uh, it is a lot better. No, uh, no running on the paper at all. And it's just like a regular sketchbook, right? Like a mini sketchbook. Um, and 
If I have too much ink, then it starts to run a little bit, but it's very minimal. It has a lot more control on the paper, especially this color worked really well on this paper. Um, in terms of seeping it through, yes. If you have a very dark spots, it's definitely going to kind of seep through and make marks. Look, but it's not as bad as it was on the printer paper and the notebook but still it seeps through so you can't really use the other side if you plan on doing that so that's that that's a sketchbook excellent and we are going to do the last thing is um, watercolor paper a boat can float on water but it can sink in it too Go. Okay, so let me wash this off. So what do you think of it on this? On the paper, on the watercolor paper, it's quite perfect. Uh, there's no runniness on it. Um, I can see a bit of shine as well. As well, it's just a bit too dark right now to show see the shine, but you can still, you know, it's there and um, it doesn't see through to the other side everything is perfect on the other side as you can see no seeping whatsoever so it works really well on the watercolor paper so this is everything uh, my favorite is the sketchbook and the watercolor uh, book and the um, the cardstock and you can kind of still you can you can actually kind of see a little bit of the red but it's not that bad and I can actually see the shine on this one much better oh I like that the heart has shine I like it what are my thoughts about this thing I love the the way it looks it is beautiful it looks like something from like a fairy tale um, it's just amazing the way they, they've designed it. I even like the nib. The only thing is I wish it took in more ink and maybe I don't know if I should be doing something differently when I'm picking up the ink. I usually just like put it in. I did find that sometimes if I roll it, it feels like more gets in. Maybe there's a technique that I just don't know about. So having said that, um, actually, before that, uh, the inks the inks are great. The colors are are lovely. There's only one color that I haven't used yet, and it's this like um, brownish color. Uh, I'll use it some on something else another time. Um, but all the other colors are beautiful. Uh, I think the colors there's nothing wrong with it. I wish that um, the black ink didn't. Um, break on its trans, uh, transfer over to me um, so that so with that I'm going to go into my impressions and my review part of this what I like about it I love the colors I love the way it works on things uh, I love the fact that it has to shine actually as well I think it's really lovely I think it's really cool and I'm excited to work with this thing a lot more. Um, I just like I enjoy using it, even though um, uh, there are some issues uh, with it. Uh, I still enjoy using it. Uh, I love the colors. I like the packaging, the way it came, uh, the way it looks, and everything is perfect. What I don't like is from the very beginning. I don't like the fact that when I got it uh, it wasn't fully intact. Uh, the black one had completely um, the bottle had shattered and all the ink has you know seeped through like here. It's, it's very unfortunate and, and a waste and also dangerous because it's you know kind of like mini glass. Um, so that is a negative for me. I didn't like that. Um, I don't like the fact that um, 
I mean, the rubber stopper, I like it uh, to some extent, but I don't like it um, in another extent. I get the, I get why these manufacturers put that there is to kind of avoid the spillage. If instead of putting a rubber stopper, if you could just if the manufacturers could just use something like this that actually keeps it all in, like the regular ink bottles might usually do, uh, that might be better. The reason is because when you try to take out the rubber stopper every time that you want to paint and stuff like that, this ends up happening. It's very messy. And, um, yeah, now I, you know, I don't, I don't really care for that. I get ink can be messy, but having that rubber stopper made a bigger mess, uh, I, I think, personally. And also when you're trying to pull the stopper out, sometimes it squirts and, it, it, you know, it can go in people's faces. If they have their mouths open, it could go in their mouths. So it's, I think it's more of a hassle than it is maybe a, a safety feat, like a better, a good feature. So I don't really, you know, like the rubber stopper thing. The other thing that I don't like about this is the fact that it did not come with any instructions. Yes, I saw the commercial, I saw the ad, I saw how the girl drew, you know, very nicely. Uh, she did nice letterings. But, and, and it kind of shows you the gist, like, I mean, you know what to do with an ink pen. You put it in the ink and you use it. But I wish it came with some type of instructions. Um, even if it's just to say, you know, put the pen in and swirl it around so you can get more ink or something like that. Uh, just because I felt like I had questions, right? And I'm the kind of person that I, I enjoy some instruction <laughs> at the beginning. Um, and even like, you know, safety features to have like to tell us whether this is non-toxic for all we know. Like we don't know, right? I mean, I, I in Amazon it says, you know, it's safe and stuff like that. But still, like you get messy. So it's good to have that additional instruction paper saying, you know, this is how you use it. And another thing that I think is, uh, is not that great is the amount of ink that it captures. Um... And again, it could be that I'm just not using it right, and it's possible that, uh, like I realized, like when I spin it around, it gets more ink, so maybe there is a technique to it. Uh, but it would be great if we could get more ink uh, in it um, at once, that way we don't have to keep dipping uh, like uh, every time we write one thing. Uh, those are some of my constructive criticisms for the manufacturer uh, that they could maybe work with, hopefully. Um, just personally, this is how I feel about uh, the product. I'm trying to be like really honest about my first impressions and what I th thought about it and my experience, just ex sharing my experience with you guys. Um, but otherwise, though, I really like it. I'm glad I purchased it. I'm happy that I purchased it. I, I really think this is just a, a work of art. It's beautiful, whoever created this, designed this. Uh, you did a very good job, you guys. It's beautiful. Um, and uh, even the ink, I, I am excited to continue to use it. I don't know. I'll try to incorporate like more writing into my artworks, maybe. That way I can use the ink. Um, I actually quickly went and washed my hands because I was getting really annoyed with it. That's one of the things that I really love about this is the quick cleanup the easy cleanup, uh, you just dip it in water and it just cleans itself. It's That's really good. I really like that. My overall thoughts on this product. Uh, so I, I basically said like the pros and cons and what I liked and what I didn't, didn't really like about the product. Um, and my overall thoughts uh, is that I'm glad I purchased it. I will definitely continue to use this. Um, but overall, my impression is that I like the product. Um, I'll say out of 10, if I had to give a mark out of 10 for this, for like effectiveness, uh, aesthetics, the efficiency, usability, and all, all those things incorporated, I...
And also another thing is the enjoyment of it. I didn't enjoy getting my hands really dirty and the fact that it didn't wash off well that I'll have to keep washing a few times. I didn't enjoy that, but it was still enjoyable while I was doing it, like when I was working with this for example, like and to see the shininess at the end too, it's really cute. Um, so there was a lot of aspects of it that I really liked. Uh, so yes, yeah, so if I had to give a mark out of 10, I would give this item a 7 out of 10. Just overall, I like this product more than I don't like it. But I have to admit like that 3 point, I might even just give it a 6.5. Maybe it's a 6.5 uh, as opposed to a 7. Yeah, 6.5 out of 10 because uh, I didn't appreciate that it came broken. Uh, that is a big reason why I, you know, don't think it deserves like a very high no uh, mark. But overall and the aesthetic quality of it and the fact that it, it's very, uh, it does what it's meant to do. I can write with it. I can I can even do some drawings with it, which I which I appreciate. Uh, so because of all of that, uh, and like even the sketch that I did in my sketchbook, right? Um, like it, it has its quality, which I appreciate. Um, so because of that, I, I like to give it a, yeah, because of all those reasons, I like to give it a 6.5 out of 10 for this product. But this on its own, if I have to give a mark, I love it. I just think it's beautiful. It's so pretty. Um, and I love the glass. It's beautiful. Like it's workmanship. It's really good. Uh, so yeah, so there you have it, everyone. I gave it 6.5 out of 10 uh, in my... Uh, measuring star system that I just created right now um, but uh, I really enjoyed working with it and I, I'm, I'm glad I purchased it I'm, I'm happy with it um, I'd love to hear your thoughts if you have purchased this item what did you think about it what were your experiences like did you in encounter the same kinds of issues um, as I did um, if you are interested in purchasing it um, let me know if you are, uh, and if you have any questions, I, I, if I might be able to answer some of them, I will, based on my current new knowledge of it. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I, I just am happy that I got to share this experience with you, with unboxing it and testing it out and going through it with you guys. Um, so thank you so much for joining me today. I hope to see everyone next time. Keep drawing and keep painting. Take care, everyone. Bye.